Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is having a wonderful January. So I recently did a video where I ranked my favorite moisturizers from least to most favorite. Somebody commented in the comments and said they would love to see the same thing for a body lotion video. So I don't have near as many body lotions. So I decided to combine my body lotions and my face cleansers and face cleansing oils into one video just to make it a little bit longer and more interesting to watch. Cause I literally only have like five body lotions. It wouldn't have been all that exciting. So today's video is going to be all my face cleansers, my face cleansing oils, and all of my body lotions, not necessarily ranked, but just telling you my thoughts on them. If you guys have a favorite face cleansing oil, a favorite moisturizer, a favorite body cream scent anything like that please let me know down below I'm always curious to know what other people are using and with that out of the way you guys let's get started in today's video all right so let's start out with something kind of fun this is the newest release from Sol de Janeiro this is the Delicia drench body butter cream I hope that I'm saying that right and it says that it relieves dry skin and repairs the moisture barrier this has notes I believe of vanilla orchid and sandalwood is what I want to say and I was really tempted to blind by the body spray of this lucky for me i guess is they didn't have it in stock and then when i went to sephora they weren't sure they were getting any in that sephora but i did try the body butter the reason i say lucky for me is because I just don't need any more body sprays. I go through so many body sprays and perfumes and I'm really trying to keep my collection down and I just about blind bought it. I do love the way that it smells though, um, that being said. So when I was in Sephora, I tried this and I do really like the way that it smells. As you can see, I still have the plastic thing on there. Um, and I haven't used any from the actual container. I've only used it from the little plastic thing that was on the top there because it was just a little bit there. So this is really new to my collection and yeah, it smells really, really lovely. Very creamy, very subtle, definitely getting that kind of sandalwood vanilla thing going on in there. A little bit of that orchid, which gives it more of this floral scent. Yeah, it just smells really, really pleasant and really nice. Um, so this one I got specifically to use at home. And you'll understand why I specify that in a moment when I get to my other creams. Um, but I have really, really dry skin. So the fact that this smelled so nice and that this is supposed to be really good for the skin barrier, um, I just thought it was a really nice thing to purchase myself. I don't typically go for um, scented body lotions and scented body butters most of the time. Um, usually I just stick to something very basic, something like a Vaseline, like intensive care or a Eucerin or something like that for the body. Um, just because I don't always want a scent, like a scented lotion. Um, because I get tired of scents, I don't necessarily want that every single day. It would interfere with my perfumes. So for the most part, just as like a go-to, I just put on a simple lotion, a simple unscented body lotion or a very subtly, lightly scented lotion. But just for those evenings that I do want to give myself a little bit more of a pampering and maybe I feel like wearing something a little bit more pleasant, a little bit more scented, this I thought would be really nice. So in my cupboard, in my linen closet, you're not going to find like Bath & Body Works lotions. You're not going to find um, a lot of scented body care to begin with. So I only have a few of them in today's video. So yeah, that is the Sol de Janeiro Delicia Drench body butter. Now for something not quite as fun, but definitely something that I really like using that I think has made a big difference in my skin. This is the Alpha Skin Care Renewal Body Lotion for healthy radiant skin, and it is a 12% glycolic acid, um, alpha hydroxy acid. So I started using this, I think I got interested in this about two years ago after I had seen some youtuber talking about it i want to say it might have been angie hot and flashy talking about this um because this is basically a uh, exfoliating lotion for your body so we exfoliate our faces all the time and people often use scrubs and stuff like that in the shower but a lot of times people don't think to use a chemical exfoliant on their body i personally don't like a lot of scrubs um they kind of bother my hands. I don't like the gritty feel in my hands. I don't like putting them on my skin, um, but I like the idea. And I also don't like that you just rinse it off right away. So even if you're using a um, exfoliating acid in the shower, like you can get alpha hydroxy acids for in the shower, you rinse them off like pretty quickly. I don't like standing there, letting the water run and wasting water, waiting for it to do what it needs to do. So I like the idea of having it in a lotion. I feel like it's more effective. And so this is pretty much unscented. It does have a little bit of a little bit of kind of a strange, not so pleasant, not bad, but like 
it doesn't really smell like anything. It just kind of smells like there's something acidic in here. So it kind of smells like a little bit of an acidic lotion. Overall, it is not scented. It's just like a basic lotion. If you didn't know there was alpha hydroxy acid in here, you would never guess. Like It's not harsh or it doesn't cause any irritation or stinging or anything like that. I use this probably once a week, maybe twice a week when I think about it. It's not something that I reach for a ton, but I've gone through a couple. This is my second container of this, I believe, or maybe even my third container that I've gone through. I've lost track now, um, but I like it because the price is good. It lasts a long time, and this is really, really good for helping getting helping get rid of dry skin, um, dry patches. If you have keratosis pilaris, which are those red bumps on the back of your arms, which I don't really have too much of that, but sometimes I'll get a little bit. This is really good for helping with that. Um, it basically just sloughs off, helps eat away and slough off that top layer of your dead skin cells so that your healthy skin can shine underneath. So I kind of like it for just all over my body just to help keep that glow, that healthy glow from within kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that is the Alpha Care, and I did get this from Amazon, and I'll just tell you real quick what some of the claims are. So it says it's formulated with 12% glycolic alpha hydroxy acid to thoroughly hydrate and gently, uh, ex gently exfoliate, leaving skin soft, smooth, and younger looking from head to toe for all skin types, free of parabens and fragrances. Reduces signs of aging, relieves dry skin, leaves skin feeling soft and smooth, helps support collagen production, even skin tone and texture. Yeah, and it says to apply to desired areas daily, although I don't use it daily. Do not rinse off. For daytime use, follow with sunscreen, of course. So yeah, so um, I don't put this on my face. I just use it from the decollete down. Okay, the next two lotions are again a little bit more fun lotions, and these are ones I've had for a really, really long time. This is again from Tol Sol de Janeiro. This is the Coco Cabana Cream Plush Moisture Body Blend, as well as the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which is infused with all-powerful grand extract it says so i'll be honest i did not buy these for the claims on the packaging i bought them because of the scent i love the way that they smell i've had these for quite a while and these are the two that i use for travel so that's why i specified the other sol de janeiro is one i got specifically to use at home these i only use for travel um so obviously they both smell really really good the coco cabana is kind of like this um like a sort of caramelized coconut sort of whereas the boom boom cream is more of a caramelized vanilla pistachio um yeah they both smell kind of beachy but in their own way and i personally don't like the coco cabana by itself i prefer it mixed with the brazilian boom boom cream and i actually prefer the boom boom cream mixed with the coco cabana so these two together for me are greater than either of them by themselves and what i do with these you guys as i've told you before is i actually mix the two of these together in a travel size container and i just continually refill that container and bring it with me when i go on vacation like i've told you in other videos this scent has become synonymous for me with staying in hotels, going on nice vacations, um, renting Airbnbs, sitting at the poolside with my boyfriend. Um, it just, it's my travel lotion. And actually, if you've ever been to the Wynn in Las Vegas, they have a lotion and body, body wash and stuff and shampoo and conditioner in the shower. The scent of that lotion smells kind of similar to these two mixed together. And I think that's where that association kind of came from. It was like, I remember the smell of the beautiful lotion they had in the hotel. And this is kind of like almost a little bit similar, not quite the same. Um, but yeah, so that's when I use these. Like I told you guys, I don't necessarily want a scented lotion every single day because once you put it on it's on you for 24 hours it's not like perfume where you spray it and it eventually wears off and I tend to personally spray perfume all over my clothing so when I'm done with that scent I can just take off my clothes and put on some fresh new pajamas or fresh new lounge clothing and the scent is gone for lotion though I put it on after I have a bath or a shower and I'm stuck with it for 24 hours whether I like it or not and then it starts to mess up my perfume if I want to put a perfume on I always have to think oh but is it going to go with my lotion and I don't like that I don't like that my whole body has a scent for 24 hours that I can't do anything about I shower once a day so I'm not going to start showering two or three times a day to switch up my scent that's just crazy so 
yeah, so that's why I kind of prefer just a natural, plain um, lotion for my body. And yeah, so these two, they last me forever because I literally only use them when I go away. But it's nice though too because then when I go away, it's special and I love how it smells and it just like adds to the whole sensation and the whole feeling of being on vacation. And also my boyfriend really likes the way these two smell together. So it's kind of like nice. It just adds to our whole like our time together vacationing experience. The next lotion again is not again a super fun one. It's not scented. It's not Bath and Body Works, but again, it's something that is essential for me and that I use all the time. And I actually love it so much that I have not only this one, which I am almost out of, but I also recently purchased a large tub of it. So I'm just going to hold the other one because it's actually quite heavy. So you guys can get these from Amazon if you want. And this is the Gold Bond Age Renew Retinol Overnight Body and Face Lotion with, with a, you guys, I cannot talk today, with a retinol and peptide complex. It says it's clinically proven to show smoother looking skin, quote unquote, overnight. Seven moisturizers and three vitamins. It is a fairly new product. I think I got this because I saw probably Dr. Dre talking about this. She's, and also I was uh, watching Dr. Lee and they were talking about putting retinols on your body and they had recommended a couple of other ones, but they were such small bottles. What I love about this one is it actually comes in a large enough tub or tube that you can like put it on your body and it's going to last. I think Verst has one, but it's such a small tub or tube rather that it, I couldn't justify the price. This has a pretty decent price point. Plus, like I said, you can get the, the larger, the larger bottle. Um, so this is probably my, I think this is my second or maybe third bottle of this. And because it's something that I commit to, and it's something I do use on a regular basis, I decided to just invest and get the larger, more economical, um, bottle. So this one probably has enough uses left for maybe like three more times. Yeah, probably about three more times, three or four more times, and then I'll be out. And I kind of just, I don't use this every single night. I alternate it with my other regular body lotion. Um, retinol is, you guys probably know all about retinol, but it is one of the most important ingredients you can use to put it in a nutshell. One of the most important ingredients you can use for enhancing your skin's anti-aging, crepiness, acne, um, if you want to exfoliate, if you want to have younger looking skin, if you want to stimulate collagen production, just all of these things, retinoids are super, super, like they're one of the best ingredients, if not the best ingredient you can be putting on your skin is some type of a retinoid. And we use retinoids on our faces all the time, whether you use an over the counter retinol, whether you use something a little bit stronger, like adapalene, or whether you use the big guns, which are tretinoin. But in terms of my body, I thought if I'm putting retinol on my face, why am I not also doing it on my body? I don't want my face to be the only focus of attention. I want to be treating the skin on my body the same way so that as I get older, my skin is firmer and plumper and more hydrated and more youthful looking. And um, also retinols or retinoids have been shown to actually decrease or slow the progression of certain types of skin cancers as well. Um, so it's not just for aesthetic reasons. It's also like helps reduce your chances of getting skin cancer, which is awesome. So it's kind of like an amazing holy grail ingredient. And so I knew that I wanted a retinoid that I could put on my body and this just fits the bill. I really, really enjoy using this, you guys. It has a kind of a yellow, creamy yellow kind of um, color, really nice, rich consistency. Now it's not going to go back in there and it's super hydrating and super rich and just really nice to apply to my skin. I never get any kind of irritation at all. I think you can put this, it says on your face and body. I don't, I just put it on body because I have um, specific stuff that I put on my face. But yeah, I swear by this stuff, you guys. It's so nice. Obviously your skin, you're not gonna notice that's why when it says like clinically shown to reveal smoother skin overnight, I kind of roll my eyes at that a bit because changes to your skin from retinoids are not something you're going to see overnight. It's going to take time. Yes, it is hydrating and moisturizing. So sure, you might see more hydrated, moisturized skin from that overnight. But in terms of the retinol and like the age renew and the age rewind, that whole thing, that takes time. That takes weeks to months to years. So 
recognizing that this is a marathon and not a sprint, this is something I want to incorporate continuously going forward. Not every single night. Maybe I'll build up to every night um, all over my body, but definitely at least three or four times a week I do use this on my body. And I think I have pretty nice skin. Like the skin on my body is very soft and very smooth and I don't have a lot of blemishes or anything. And like I told you guys, I think once I run out of my regular body lotion, I think I might just switch to this. Definitely something I recommend you guys. You can get it from Amazon. I'm sure you can get it from other places, but up here where I live in Canada, it's not on the shelves. <laughs> like you can't find it anywhere. So I did have to order it from the U.S. Amazon. All right. And finally, this is the last body lotion that I have. I would like to say that I had a huge body lotion collection that was super exciting and super fun and all these different scents, but I don't. I'm a pretty basic creature. Um, by the way, the bottle looks dirty because it, it is something I use on a regular basis. It sits on my counter. I need to wipe it. This is the Jergens oil infused enriching shea butter. It says for visibly radiant skin with pure African shea butter, 24 hour moisturizer. So the reason, and this is a second bottle for me, the reason I like this is because it does have shea butter in it. Shea butter is incredibly nourishing for your skin, very hydrating, very moisturizing, and I have really dry skin, and I also live in a cool, dry climate. The more my skin can get, the better. Um, I have tried some lotions before. For example, I think it's the Nivea CoQ10 with Coenzyme Q10 in it um, that's supposed to be firming. While I appreciated the CoQ10, I didn't find it to be particularly hydrating. It was more of a thin, watery consistency. For my body, I like something that's almost more of a cream texture, almost more of a body butter. And this is super nice. This is kind of like a perfect hybrid between a lotion and a cream. Um, so it's very nourishing, very hydrating. My skin loves it. Um, sometimes I'll even mix a pump or two of this with a pump or two of the retinol and I'll just blend it all together and apply it to my, my whole body. The thing about me though too is I do get a little bit bored of things rather quickly. You guys have probably noticed that as a trend on my channel. I like to try new things. I don't want to just find one lotion and be like, okay, hey, this is my lotion for the rest of my life, unless it's like incredible or something like that or holy grail status. But because my opinion is skincare is always changing. It's always evolving. It's always getting better. Technology is always getting better. And if you don't try something else, how do you know if what you have is the best thing for you. So I don't like to switch up constantly, but I do like to try new things. Um, so once I run out of this one, which is gonna take me a really long time, by then I will for sure be bored of it because this one is almost full. But once I run out of this one, I will definitely get, um, probably try another one, but this one's fantastic. If you have dry skin, I definitely do recommend it. Um, another one that I really like that I have purchased over and over before is the Vaseline Cocoa Butter. Um, the cocoa butter scented Vaseline. It isn't the prettiest bottle. It's a brown bottle, so it doesn't look really nice sitting on your counter, but I really do enjoy that formula as well. It's super rich and super hydrating. Okay, so let's start out with my Old Faithful. Well, I don't know if this is Old Faithful. Probably my CeraVe would be Old Faithful. This is a newer Old Faithful. It has definitely made it into um, Holy Grail status because I've been using it for quite a long time and it's one that I just keep going back to and I'm always happy to use it. My skin really seems to like it. The price is right and I've used up almost this entire container. It is about... I would say probably 80% used up. And this I think will definitely be a repurchase. This is the Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser for sensitive skin. It says it is free of dyes, fragrance, masking, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, formaldehyde, and other preservatives. And this is a foaming cleanser, but it has a very gentle foam. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of different from other foaming cleansers. It doesn't leave my skin feeling stripped, but at the same time, it really makes me feel like I'm getting a good deep clean. And I've been using this for months now. I'm not even sure exactly when I started using it, but it has been just really, really nice. Um, yeah, nothing to say about it really. It's very basic. It's very affordable. I'm sure that you guys have heard about it or seen it or even used it yourself. You can get it from Walmart. You can get it from Amazon, but yeah, it's really good. Um, and usually I try to steer away from foaming cleansers, but this one's gentle enough that I can still use it even with retinoids and stuff like that. So I do like to cycle through my, um, face cleansers just because I like trying new things, but this is one I just keep repeatedly going back to. And it's kind of like just a foolproof, like never fails 
always like it. So, so this is the one that I should call Old Faithful, really. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. So I really, really like this one better than just the hydrating cleanser which I also have, but the hydrating cleanser doesn't foam. It's just a straight up like kind of a gel lotion consistency and it doesn't foam up, it doesn't lather and it rinses right off. Um, I'll talk more about that one in a moment, but the reason I kind of like this one better is because this one just, again, makes me feel like I'm getting a better clean. This is the one that I have been using the most and the longest out of all the cleansers in my cabinet right now. Um, this is the second or third bottle I've gotten of this one. And as you can see, I did purchase the economy size. Is that the value size, the economy size? I got the large bottle because it was better value for money and because I knew that I loved it. However, what I will say is that strangely enough, even though the Vanny Cream is also is also a foaming cleanser, this one I find to be a little bit more harsh than the Vanny Cream, just a touch. Not that it's a lot, but if my skin is going to be dry or irritated, I do tend to put this one away and go for either the Vanny Cream or even just a plain cream cleanser. I do love this one, you guys. I can't honestly... I can't say I don't love it. It is a favorite face wash. That's why I've had it for so long. That's why I've used it for so long. So currently this is not in my rotation. Just because it's winter, my skin is drier. I've been trying to repair my skin barrier a little bit. I've been trying to acclimate to tretinoin. So this one is not currently in my bathroom. So this one here, you guys, is the hydrating cleanser. I did get this one because I wanted the most hydrating, gentle cleanser I could get. This one came so highly recommended from so many people. Very basic, very no nonsense. It says that it's for normal to dry skin. It says it moisturizes, restores, and maintains a protective skin barrier and has ceramides and hyaluronic acid. This is fine. It's nice. It works. I will say I don't enjoy the user experience of using this. It just doesn't feel luxurious. It doesn't, I don't know. I'm big into like the actual spa and the, the feeling and the sensorial experience of using face washes. So I, I don't mind this if my skin really needs a little bit of TLC and if I have to really take a break, but it is not my favorite cleanser to use. I much prefer a lovely foaming, gentle wash or a really luxurious feeling cream cleanser. This is not my favorite. It kind of feels a little weak to me. It kind of feels a little thready and thin and I just don't love it. I also don't like the way it smells. It doesn't really have a scent to it, but at the same time it kind of smells like like some kind of bland lotion. Like I just don't love the use of this. I don't love the sensation of using it if that makes sense but it is good if my skin needs a little bit of TLC. The next face wash is a cream cleanser, and this one actually does have a more enjoyable, like user-friendly, not user-friendly, that's not the right way to put it, but a more enjoyable using experience compared to the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. This is the Mad Hippie Cream Cleanser. It has jojoba, green tea, macadamia oil, and orchid extract. This was a purchase because of Tamara on Timeless Beauty, and I quite like this. The only thing I don't love about it is the amount that you get for the price, I feel like it's a little bit expensive. I feel like the packaging is a lot. It's heavy. It's made of glass. I feel like I feel like it could just be a better economical value. Like I would like to see this in a larger container. But this is a cream cleanser that actually feels luxurious to use. I'm not a huge fan of the scent as I told you guys in my last video where I talked about moisturizers because I also have the Mad Hippie Triple C night cream and I'm not a huge fan of the scent. It kind of smells like kind of hippie, all natural, like something you're going to smell in a bulk foods natural store like a Nutters or something like that if that makes sense. It smells like it, it doesn't have like a, um, a luxurious scent the way something like Olay or Sunday Riley or something like that would, um, or Chanel or something like that. But scent aside, I really, really like the way it feels on my skin. It's lovely to use. It is non-stripping. It makes my skin feel fantastic. Um, so this one I actually do really enjoy using. And that's what I mean about that kind of whole, like the total picture, the whole sensorial aspect of it. I want it to feel nice. I want it to smell nice. I want it to leave my skin looking nice. And so this one for me is just so much nicer to use than the CeraVe hydrating 
cleanser. <laughs> so that is the Mad Hippie. Um, haven't used it in a while, but it is lovely and I can totally see why Tamara really likes it. The next one is actually another recommendation from Tamara from Timeless Beauty. This is the Aveeno Calm and Restore Nourishing PHA Exfoliator for Sensitive Skin. So it's kind of interesting because on one hand it's an exfoliating cleanser, on the other hand it says it's for sensitive skin. I'm kind of leery about using this too much because I don't want to hurt my skin and because I'm acclimating to tretinoin and I do use retinoids and I do have very dry sensitive skin, this is not a cleanser I've been using a lot but the way she talked about it so highly and she said it was good for her dry mature sensitive skin and she said it was very gentle even with that little bit of an exfoliator in there. It's very gentle, non-abrasive. I really wanted to try it and I can definitely say that it is quite gentle. I had no irritation from this at all. I think I even used it during the same week as I had used tretinoin and I had no issues. So this is actually very beautiful. I really like it. I can see myself using this more often in the future. Just at the moment, I'm kind of trying to really restore my skin barrier and really give it some bounce and some um, resilience again. So I'm kind of steering away from anything that could be a chemical exfoliant. But this also has oat oil, um, which is really nice for the skin and very gentle. It's fragrance-free. I really like the consistency. I think that this does have a subtle lather to it, just a subtle leather lather. <laughs> it's not bad at all. This is just as gentle as the CeraVe. So if you guys are looking for a really nice um, kind of an exfoliating cleanser, check out this one from Aveeno. It's lovely. So now we get to my cleansing oils and cleansing balms, of which I only have three at the moment. This is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. This is one that I've been wanting to try for a really long time. The packaging is really aesthetic. I've heard really good reviews about it. I liked the idea that there was oat in here, like oat extract, and I just heard really, really good things about it, and I am not disappointed in the slightest. So this is a fairly recent purchase for me. It is a really thick kind of a consistency like that. It's a thick kind of an oaty oat, oaty consistency. And this is absolutely fantastic on my skin. My skin loves it. The only thing that I found confusing about this particular product, like I told you in my last haul video, is that it doesn't say on the website to use it as a first step of a cleanse, but when you use it, it's very apparent that it should be a first step of a two-step cleanse because it does leave a little bit of a film on the face. And the first couple days, I too only used it as a first and only step. And my skin really, really liked it. It felt really nourished. It felt hydrated. It felt moisturized. Even with that kind of a weird like film that it kind of left on my skin, I didn't feel like my skin wasn't clean, but I don't like the idea of leaving something behind after I clean. So I did start doing a double cleanse with it and I do prefer doing a double cleanse. It just makes my skin feel a lot cleaner, but still very hydrated. So if you guys are looking for a really hydrating balm to remove your sunscreen and your makeup, this one's lovely and the price is right. This whole 150 ml tube only cost I think $15.99 Canadian. So. Okay, one other cleansing oil before I get to my holy grail, which if you guys watch my channel, you already know what the holy grail is. This is the Hada Labo cleansing oil. So I don't actually know all of the ingredients and the call out. I just heard so many good reviews and so many people raving about it, including Dr. Dre, who's one of my favorite online dermatologists to watch on YouTube. And I just really wanted to try this for a long time. And I will say, you guys, I love this. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than my sort of holy grail um, cleansing oil. So if it wasn't for that price, I probably would just switch to this one exclusively just because it is that nice. It's so lovely. I like it just as much as my favorite cleansing oil. Um, it doesn't really have a scent. It feels really nice going on. It melts my makeup and sunscreen off really well, leaves my skin feeling nice and clean and hydrated, doesn't leave a film behind. It's just lovely. I can totally see why it kind of went viral. I can totally see why so many people love it. Um, and I'm really happy to have discovered it. I think the price for this, I want to say is somewhere around the 25 Canadian dollar mark. And I got it on Amazon. So if you guys have been tempted to try the Hada Labo, again, this one definitely gets two thumbs up from me as well. It definitely, I think will stay in a rotation for me. And finally, this is my long time. I would say this has reached Holy Grail status. Um, favorite cleansing oil. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with vitamin E skin therapy cleansing oil for face. It has rosehip fragrance, but it's just a very subtle, gentle rosehip fragrance. No mineral oil, no parabens, no phthalates, it says. It does contain grapeseed, jojoba, and rosehip oil and vitamin C. Rosehip seed oil, if you guys didn't know, is excellent for your skin. It has a ton of different benefits. And 
I've just been using Palmer's products for years. When I was pregnant with my daughter, I used Palmer's cocoa butter on my stomach and Palmer's body lotion. And some of it might be genetic, but I didn't get a single stretch mark. When I saw that they had this as a face cleansing oil, this was when I was first getting into a double cleanse. Like I only started doing a double cleanse, you guys, probably about a year and a half ago, maybe two years. I honestly don't know what I did before that point in time. I have no idea how I lived because I just don't know how I ever removed all of my makeup and sunscreen. Um, I really don't know. Like, I think I must have never gotten it completely off my face. These days, I can't not do a double cleanse. Like, doing an oil cleanse or a, like a balm cleanse first is so crucial to me. Um, it just makes all the difference. It gets rid of all the layers of sunscreen I put on my face. It gets rid of any eye makeup I have, mascara, any foundation. And then I follow up with my foaming cleanse or whatever water-based cleanser. And it just like finishes the job. And I can't imagine not using an oil cleanse. So yeah, when I saw that Palmer's had a face cleansing oil, I was all over it because I thought, I know how good their products are on the rest of the body and I'm more than happy to use it on the face. And the price is right with this, you guys. I get this from Shoppers Drug Mart. It's $9.99 Canadian. The price might have gone up a little bit now with inflation. It might be like $10.99, but you can also get it on sale a lot of the time. Lasts such a long time. It does such a good job of removing all my makeup, all my sunscreen. Um, it's very gentle, leaves my skin feeling hydrated. I just keep going back and back and back to this because it's easy and it works and it's affordable and I like it. And I think this is probably my third or maybe fourth bottle of this. So that is my kind of only holy grail status face cleansing oil at the moment. Although I think the hot alabo will make its way up there. That is the Palmer's cocoa butter formula skin cleansing oil for face. So that was it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of my face cleansers, face cleansing oils, and body lotions in today's video. Thanks for being here with me today, you guys. I'll see you all very soon in my next one. Bye for now.